Hey, hey! You know what they say, third time's the charm. So this is 25 even more abilities Pokémon should or shouldn't have. Just like always, no Gen 8 or 9 abilities that would make sense on cut Pokémon, and... Well, actually, that's it. So with this short intro finished, let's do this! Number 1. Snorlax can't have Truant. Yeah, you probably saw this one coming. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokémon known for how lazy it is, can't have Truant. But Durant, a freaking ant, can. Yes, I know about the whole entrainment gimmick, but wouldn't Snorlax be much better suited for that? I think so, but I guess Game Freak, for whatever reason, does not. Number 2. Arctivish can't have Bulletproof. And that's not so bad, is it? Well, according to its Shield's Dex entry, its face, which in a way is kind of like a shield, is impervious to attack. So if you ask me, Bulletproof would suit, and maybe even benefit Arctivish. I mean, just think about it. If a freaking apple can be Bulletproof, anything's possible. I mean, what's next? Floatzel with that huge flotation sack? Can't have Bulletproof either? Yeah, I saw that coming. Number 3. Swoobat can't have Cute Charm. Uh, it's the Cording Pokémon. It has a heart-shaped nose. It learns moves like Heart Stamp, Captivate, and Attract by Level Up. Its Dex entries say if you get hit by its ultrasonic waves, your mood improves. Boy, how lovey-dovey. So why can't Swoobat have cute charm? Not loving this, Game Freak. Number 4. Comfey can't have Healer. Ugh, it can have triage and natural cure for abilities. It can learn the moves Aromatherapy and Floral Healing. According to its dex entries, the flowers it carries has healing properties. And not to mention, in the anime, Comfey assists Nurse Joy at the Pokémon Center. In a nutshell, Comfey's a natural-born healer, so the fact that it can't have healer perplexes me to no end. Number 5. Altaria and Bufalons can't have Fluffy. Oh, not another conspiracy group. Just look at these two. When you see them, what's the first thing you notice? I mean, surely it can't be Altaria's fluffy feathers and Bufalon's fluffy afro, right? Because, you know, the Stuffle and Grievered lines are way more fluffy. This is fluffed up, Game Freak. Oh, and you want more? Guess what other ability Bufalons can't have? I'll give you a hint. Afro. You guessed it, tangling hair. If you two start a new conspiracy group, you will be sorry. Number 6. Chansey can't have Runaway, so what better place to start than the Pokedex? According to a few of Chansey's entries, she's very fast at running away. And if for whatever stupid reason the Pokedex isn't good enough for you, check this out. What more proof do you need? And get this, Pokémon like Rapidash and Thievil can have Runaway. Oh, I'm gonna run away now. Number 7. All these Pokémon can't have Super Luck, so let's take a look at these Pokémon's move pools. Just kidding, they're dex entries. They each have at least one that goes on about how, in some way, shape, or form, they, or something about them, are symbolic of good luck. So super luck might suit them, don't you think? Well, sorry, but no such luck. Number 8. Nicket and Thievil can't have pickpockets. So what are Nicket and Thievil known for? Their names both contain synonyms of steal, and their dex entries go on about how they like to steal, but you know, for some reason, I just can't figure it out. You're getting sick of all my sarcasm, aren't you? Wait, what's sarcasm again? Well, here's what I do know. This is bullshit, and this is also bullshit, and this is even more bullshit. Will someone please come steal all this bullshit? Number 9. Kaparaja can't have dry skin. Dex entries, yeah, you knew it. According to its sword one, its skin is resistant to water. And bonus, Kaparaja's steel type, which of course means it's weak to fire. So if all that's true, why can't it have dry skin? I guess this ain't no skin off Game Freak's back. That wasn't funny. Please, please never speak to me again. Number 10. Weasel and Floatzel can't have Propeller Tail. That's Aracuda and Barbascuta's signature ability! Do you ever get sick of these little interludes? Like, really, do you? Because I'm sure as hell sick of them. I mean, just look at those tails. Not enough for ya? Well, how about some Dex entries? It spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through water. Yeah, sounds about right, but you know what does not sound right? Weasel and Floatzel can't have Propeller Tail. What a sad, sad tail. Number 11. Rillaboom can't have Gorilla Tactics. That's Galleria Dormanitan's signature ability! You know what? I'm just gonna ignore you from now on. Ooh, ooh, Rillaboom. Ooh, ooh, Gorilla. Ooh, ooh, Gorilla Tactics. Ooh, ooh, can't have. Ooh, ooh, why? Ooh, ooh, why, Game Freak? Ooh, 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 or pressure, or a nerve. So just take a minute and make eye contact with this Pokémon. Isn't it just so daunting, so unnerving, so pressuring, so intimidating? I'm feeling pressured to say yes. It just bothers me that cute, innocent-looking Pokémon can have these abilities, but actually scary-looking ones cannot. Number 13. 
Morpeko and Hydrapple can't have Moody. Morpeko, basically a hunger-dependent bipolar, and Hydrapple, the Pokémon with seven entities, whose signature move is Fickle Beam, whose power varies depending on its moods, can't have Moody. Now yes, I know Morpeko only has one ability, but take Darmanitan for example. It also has an ability that makes it change form, yet it's not its only ability, so that's not a good enough reason for Morpeko not to get Moody. Oh, and guess what else? It can't have Gluttony or Cheek Pouch either. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, motherfuck! Number 14. Dupiter and Duraquanid can't have Water Veil. Bruh, seriously? The Water Bubble Pokémon whose signature ability is Water Bubble can't have Water Veil? You know, I wonder, what exactly is a veil? Something that covers the face. And what are these Pokémon's Water Bubbles covering? Their faces! Well, technically, their whole heads, but close enough. Let's play a quick game. Can you think of an anagram of Veil? That's right, evil. That's what you are, Game Freak! Number 15. Falcarona can't have Drought, and this is even though it's known as the Sun Pokémon, who, according to its dex entries, produces fire hot enough to replace the Sun. I wouldn't have as much of a problem with Falcarona not having Drought if it were still exclusive to Groudon, but that is not the case. And so, Falcarona having Drought should be the case. I rest my case. Number 16. Dragalge can't have Corrosion. Really? Are you serious? Corrosion would fit on it like a puzzle piece! It's a freaking poison type! I mean, there's also the fact that it has dex entries that say it has poisonous liquid that can corrode metal, but that's only a minor part of the problem. It's a poison type that can't have Corrosion! That makes no sense! Oh, Game Freak not giving a poison type Corrosion, how despicable! Number 17. Beware can't have Iron Fist. Oh, mama! Beware, the strong arm Pokémon who has tremendous physical strength and whose hugs can snap your bones like toothpicks can't have Iron Fist! Hey, I gotta get past this wall. Beware, use Brick Break! Not even a crack! Uh, Palmy, use Mach Punch? Good job! You're useless! Number 18. Zangus and Seviper. A certain duo who shall not be named, the Sneasel line and the Axew line can't have sharpness. Uh, Z, known for its sharp claws, S, known for its sharp tail, the Sneasel line, the sharp claw Pokémon, and the Axew line, who have axes for tusks, can't have sharpness. Not very sharp thinking, Game Freak! Ooh, another conspiracy group. Number 19. The Gibble line can't have strong jaw. Every day it's some new idiotic enterprise with these nitwit goobers! Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp, who are sharks known for their strong jaws, can't have strong jaw! I strongly disapprove! Oh, and guess what else? I just talked about how the Axuline can't have sharpness despite having axe jaws, and guess what I'm gonna say? I like mudkips! And so do I. But yeah, it's what you think it is. They can't have strong jaw either. I'm starting to lose track. Number 20. Leafeon can't have Aroma Veil. Mmm, dex. According to Leafeon's sword dex entry, Galarian's favor the distinctive aroma of its leaves. It even has its own popular perfume. So why can't it have Aroma Veil? I mean, what next? Aromatis and Doxbun, known for their sweet smells, can't have Sweet Veil? Oh, holy sweet Arceus! Number 21. Skarmory and Corviknight can't have light metal, even though they're steel-flying birds. Ever hear the expression, light as a feather? Maybe I'm being too literal about this, but they can fly with seemingly no issues. So they can't be that heavy, right? Eh, either way, I stand by this. I mean, just think of Scizor. It's also a steel-type capable of flight, but it can have light metal. Actually, you know what? I fly by this. Number 22. Flygon can't have Sandstream, Sandvale, or Sandforce. Flygon is known as the Desert Spirit. It causes sandstorms by beating its wings, and it hides in said sandstorms. Yet it can't have any of these sand-related abilities? Game Freak must have sand in their eyes. A bunch, too, because guess what else? And... Just great. A new conspiracy group, just like that. Oh, and you want a cherry on top of all this? Flygon also can't have tinted lens. Game Freak, what do you have against Flygon? All this bullcrap? No Mega? This awesome Pokémon deserves better. Number 23. Regirock can't have... Oh, why? Arceus, why, why, why? Oh my 
goodness, I can't take this nonsense. Oh, 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 I want to ask if it can get any worse, but I know that if I do, something worse is going to happen. See, I told you. Number 24. Petra runs can't have toxic chain. Huh, guess he must have finally taken the hint. Do you know Petra Run's signature move? Malignant Chain. Do you know Malignant Chain's Japanese name? Toxic Chain. Do you know Toxic Chain's Japanese name? Toxic Chain. Is your brain in nuts? Sorry. But you see what I mean, though? This is bullshit. Now, there's a chance I might be missing something that, like, makes this make sense. And if I am, let me know in the comments. But until then, bullshit. And finally, number 25. Cranidos and Rampardos can't have ra. Sir, you don't look well. What brings you in today? I beg your pardon? Pokemon fitting ability can't have bullcrap. Sir, I don't mean to be rude, but this is the Pokemon Center, where we nurse physically injured Pokemon back to health. What you're experiencing seems to be more of a psychological issue, and we aren't equipped to handle such predicaments. I could refer you to the Poke Therapists if you would like. You don't understand. Come closer. I whisper in your ear. Too horrific to say out loud. Uh. Are you serious? Code red, code red! We have an urgently critical patient who needs immediate attention. Clear the entire ICU. We need all hands on deck for this one. Oh no, we're losing him. Clear! happened? Last I recall, I was doing a video about abilities Pokemon should or shouldn't have. Oh, you know what? It was probably bullshit. So preposterous, it made me have an aneurysm, then an ambulance took me to the hospital, then I flatlined, then they used an AED on me, which they had to crank up so high due to how messed up I was, that it blew up, and then the whole hospital blew up, and I somehow ended up back home, and I'm perfectly fine, and what was I talking about again? Eh, it's probably nothing serious. Uh, I feel kinda like watching some TV. Oh, Pokemon's on! Nice! Hey, it's Ash's gym battle with Rourke! Ooh, that looks like some head smash! But it's not gonna suffer recoil, because Rampardos is the headbutt Pokemon who is Rock-type, meaning it must have Rock-head, right? D wait huh? WHAT THE fuck? <coughs> That's all, folks. 25 even more abilities Pokemon should or shouldn't have. Did you enjoy this video? Please drop a like. And if you know of any more cases of Pokemon not getting abilities they should or getting abilities they shouldn't, I'd like to know too. So leave them in the comments for me. And for more Pokemon videos like this, please subscribe. Hey hey! Thanks a mil for watching, folks. See you in the next one. Cacophonous Corefish out.